Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani yesterday held a phone call with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuliba. During the call, they discussed developments in the security situation in Ukraine and the efforts to stop the war through negotiations and diplomatic means and to reach a political settlement that guarantees the return of peace, stability and the delivery of humanitarian relief aid to the Ukrainians. The Minister of Housing, Basim al Hamar, has said that the completion rates for the project of implementing 303 housing units in Salman City reached 75%. He expressed the hope that the implementation of the project will be completed and the units will be handed over to the beneficiaries during the current year. Al Hamar added that the project comes as part of the ministry's efforts to implement the housing obligations contained in the current government program and within the framework of the program of implementing the orders of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister of Housing noted the increase in the pace of completion to hand over the project in the coming months, according to the agreed implementation plan, and that the infrastructure and services accompanying the project to build 303 housing units, which contributes to the speedy delivery of units to the beneficiaries once the completion percentages are met. He expressed that the design and implementation of these units is carried out according to a developed uh, residential model with a modern design in line with the ministry's strategy to provide an integrated living environment in all aspects. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al ramihi asserted the keen desire of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to boost relations between the executive and legislative branches on the basis of direct communication to serve the nation and achieve the goals of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. The Information Minister praised the meeting of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister with heads and members of the Shura and Representatives Councils. He commended the enlightened visions of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in his keenness to boost cooperation between the executive and legislative branches to fast-track growth and prosperity in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Information Minister lauded the address of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Legislative Branch, which reflects a realistic analysis and a wise vision regarding regional and international developments and their repercussions on national growth. He noted that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's approach opens new prospects of integration and joint work to support national action and achieve citizens' aspirations. In the presence of Information Minister Ali bin Mohammed al ramihi the Ministry of Information held its annual Ramadan Ghabga for its employees in the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan. During the Ghabga, the Information Minister honored the distinguished employees as well as the best radio, TV and news programs for the year 2021. He delivered a speech in which he thanked all the Information Ministry personnel for their dedication and hard work, commended the performance of all the ministry's departments to upgrade the national media. The Information Minister asserted a keenness on the Information Ministry on holding such social events to boost connectedness and the one family spirit among all employees of the ministry. President, uh, cust uh, presidents of Custom, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the launch of the Single National Window Project of Uktu, which aimed at developing digital services for clearance and delivery of goods, in the presence of a number of authorities from the government and the private sector. He expressed his thanks and appreciation for the generous sponsorship of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of this project. The President of Customs noted the support and the backing of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, for all the development plans and pro programs implemented by Customs Affairs in all aspects. He explained that the single window system is an electronic portal characterized by an advanced risk system that works on various customs data and takes into account the various developed, uh, developed and internationally followed government procedures in accordance with international best practices. 
The president of customs confirmed that the Ufuq2 system will achieve electronic integration and exchange of data between the electronic systems operating within the customs offices by including all electronic services related to stakeholders from the public and private sectors, in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism said it continues its efforts to welcome the month of Ramadan with monitoring measures as part of its inspection plan for various food outlets and stores in all governorates of the kingdom. The inspection department continued its inspection tours by visiting the shops concerned with the sales of herbs and spices in the Manama market. The ministry stressed the need for shops to adhere to rules of promotion and product diversity and stressed the government measures to ensure providing a suitable stock of products and foods for Ramadan. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the championship of the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the beauty of purebred Arabian horses has kicked off, which is held under the patronage of the President of the Royal Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The event took place at the Military Sports Federation Square in Arrafa. The championship comes within the framework of His Highness Sheikh Nasser's keenness to continue the prosperity of the Arabian horse sports in the kingdom and its positive impact on Bahraini international participations. It also commemorates the supporter of the sports, the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The owners and breeders expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa for the efforts of their Highnesses in continuing to advance the sports of horse beauty in the kingdom. The winners of the first places were crowned after the conclusion of each round. The, the tournament will continue on its second day and shall witness a fierce competition. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,233,597 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,217,486 had taken the second dose and 976,627 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and to take initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said, said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 4,914 with 614 recoveries, 425 registered new cases and no deaths. There are 11 active cases receiving treatment and three patients in critical condition. Bahrain has a recorded 1,472 total deaths, while 500, uh, 552,648 have recovered from the virus. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, donated 30 million Saudi rials and 20 million rials, respectively, to the National Platform for Charitable Work, Ihsan, on Friday. Saudi Arabia launched its second national campaign for charitable activities on Friday. Ihsan, which is supervised by the Saudi Data and Artificial Intelligence Authority, aims to support charitable giving in the kingdom. Donations made when the first campaign was launched last year during Ramadan reached more than 1.47 billion rials and contributed to meeting the needs of more than 4.4 million beneficiaries. Donations made to this year's campaign reached more than 262 million rials within three hours of launching the campaign. 
The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia said it will permit one million Muslims from inside and outside the country to participate in this year's Hajj. A sharp uptick after the pandemic restrictions forced two years of, of pared down pilgrimages. Usually one of the world's largest religious gatherings, about 2.5 million people took part in 2019. But after the onset of the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, the kingdom's authorities allowed only 1,000 pilgrims to participate in an effort to prioritize the health of the pilgrims. The following year, Saudi Arabia upped the total to 60,000 fully vaccinated residents chosen through a lottery. Today's announcement said this year's Hajj will allow vaccinated pilgrims under age 65. Those coming from outside Saudi Arabia will be required to submit a negative COVID-19 PCR result from a test taken within 72 hours of travel.